Hi, my name is Mr Wade. Welcome to the second of three online tutorials I'm doing to help you get the perfect buzz. Hopefully from last time you've managed to now get a nice buzzing sound from your lips. Uh, I showed you the basics uh, which was how to use either a pencil or a straw to get the nice shape of the embouchure and focus to the very centre of your lip only to try and get the actual buzz sounding. If we've managed to get that stage, hopefully you have and you've got something out of it, that's brilliant. Well today we're going to take it slightly further, we're going to take it to the next step. So buzzing, how do we do it to pitch? Well it's it's quite straightforward, we have to get our lip muscles tight enough to and, and firm so that so it doesn't a let air out the size because we get that not very nice particularly nice sound and also um, we need to try get it centered to the center one of the tools I really like to use when I'm doing this obviously I've got one at hand if you haven't got um, a piano or a keyboard or anything like that for pitching you can obviously just start it with your instrument and try find the pitch from the note you're playing i use a low note something like a low c to start with so we can just try pitch one of those from it if not turn to, turn to piano um or keyboard and you can obviously today you can buzz along with it i'll do it in real time so obviously you've got this pitch on the video as well so you can use that i normally start with about middle c to find that, again, if you're struggling, try on an instrument, on a, certainly my, on a trumpet even, uh, I will probably play an A. And it comes because it drops about that pitch. So to try and get that, we're going to go from... Remember what I said about the pursing of the lips last time? Well, you need to purse them and pull them in a bit like that. Just slightly pull them back. And really try find that first note P, pitch C. It really takes a lot of muscle power around here and also keeping the lips really firm and as I said around the sides. Then we're going to try and go downwards. The easiest way to do it because obviously that you can make your lips sla slacker. So if we go from there, we're going to try and go down about a fifth. So we'll go down to F. So we're going to go. Okay, keep it in, keep the pitch in. in. So that was down to a fifth, that was down to F. That's not a, not a hopefully too hard to do. As you're going low, you'll find it easy because your lips are slacker. What I'm gonna do now is the best way to do this is try to just hold it. If we hold it over say four beats to start with, and then you can also take that on to eight beats. So a nice steady tempo if we go one, two, three, four, that's the speed we're gonna go at, okay? So one, two, Three, four. Brilliant. Let's go down the scale. Two, three, four. I did that in one breath. It's also great for breath control. Uh, you can breathe as much as you need to, obviously, and just keep trying to focus the sound. If you can manage that, brilliant. If not, obviously, play this over and over to keep practicing. Just keep practicing, practicing, practicing. That's the only way you're going to get this better. Then, of course, we can go back up. So we'll start on the low F. After four, three, four. <laughs> So if 
you're now managing that, that's absolutely spot on, brilliant. And you can hear how pure the sound is. <laughs> Try play around with it a bit till you get without the air, air trying to interfere with it. Then we will try, obviously extend that to eight beats. We'll not do that today if you don't, uh, you can do that yourself and try and get it onto eight beats. The hard bit is going higher because you need to really focus and try and get that on. Because remember already, as I was saying earlier, that buzz is actually higher pitch than it would be on here. So it will be a higher note anyway so we're actually trying to go higher than you normally maybe used to if it's safe obviously if you're just if you're struggling stick to the lower end just stick to the lower end or lower notes it's much easier to get it but try and get the pitch straight okay let's just try go we'll go again a fifth to a g this is going to be really hard work if you fancy a bit of challenge brilliant i love challenges so hopefully you can join me on this one so here's c We'll do it for four beats. One, two, three, four. If you manage that, really well done. Give yourself a pat on the back because that's really hard work. Really hard work to get up that high. That's a high note. So let's try, as we did before, come back down, which should make things a bit easier. Get that pitch in your head. One, two, three, four. That is pretty hard work, I have to say. Hopefully, you can achieve something like that. So that's what we're gonna stick at today, just to try and get some pitch, try and get those notes um, secured and focused, I would say, more than anything. It's good to practice also, just to actually feel where the air's coming out. If it comes out below on your hand, <laughs> Feel where the air's coming out. Try and make it as central as you can. It will probably come out downwards. If it does, then just try pull the bottom of it out slightly to make it come out dead centre of your hand. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that today again. Hard work, I'm sure, but worth it. Thank you.